What's up, what's up, what's up, what's happening? It's summertime. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sum Sum. If you already knew, then you knew. If you're new, then what do you do? <laughs> I'm so happy to have another video for you guys. This is a grungy, smoky eye look with sleek, sexy, straight hair and a poppy highlight. Da. I have a disclaimer. This video was sponsored and it is by sponsored by Foxy. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Foxy Bay Hair, and I'm gonna show you guys how I got this sleek straight hair in under like five minutes. Like the straightener is bomb. <laughs> like, let's be real. I have an expensive um, straightener. It's like two hundred dollars, and it doesn't get my hair this straight. It doesn't get my hair this straight. The Foxy Bay one is like seventy dollars plus, plus, plus. I have a coat. <laughs> And I'm wearing bundles from Grand Posh Hair on Instagram. I have a code with them as well. Everything that is affiliated with a brand or anything will be drop down, drop down. But if you are interessante in learning how to get this sexy, grungy, smoky, halo eye, boom, and then this sleek hair at the end, then please continue watching. And don't forget, all of my socials are in the down bar below. All my coupon codes. Los productos that I use, I'm going to put downstairs, or let's say downstairs, like it's a house, down below, debajo de la and then I'm going to love you. But yeah, keep on watching. Hey dudettes and dudes, I'm going to get started on this tutorial, and I'm going to be using what I always use for my brows because I'm loyal. Don't you hear me? I'm loyal to Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm going to be taking her Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. It's been a while since I did a talk through tutorial, but I'm back. I need some Vaseline. So I usually do um, voiceovers, but like, I know you guys need me. And I'm just going to skip through the brows because I do have a brow tutorial, and I'll link that right here somewhere. For a primer today, I'm going to be using the Baby Skin Primer and Simport Eraser by Maybelline. I'm going to apply that all over my face. And I'm going to take it just like a moisturizer. A lot of people don't know what um, primers are and if they're important or not. But they are for me at least. I have oily combination. Normal skin depends on the day, honestly. And um, this really helps my um, foundation glide on and um last throughout the day all of my areas that are really oily so like right under my eyes because i want to prevent creasing right on my nose right here my chin and forehead to prevent creasing the foundation i'm using today is the r520 by makeup forever for my base foundation and to contour i'm going to be using the r530 it's a little bit darker but i'm going to be using it to hollow out my bones and all that good stuff i'm going to blend it in with the morphe e7 brush when i apply my foundation i avoid going directly under my eye where i highlight to prevent the mini layers so i won't have any excessive creasing but don't bring it all the way up just kind of go right in there for concealer i'm going to be using one of my new favorites it's the maybelline instant age rewind in the shade caramel or caramel depending on how you whatever 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 i'm gonna highlight all the areas where like the light directly hits my face so i have my chin my nose i'm gonna be taking the sonia kashuk marble beauty sponge which is like my absolute favorite oh my god i love this sponge so freaking much it's so much bigger than a beauty blender it's softer and it just ugh. Now I'm going to be taking that darker shade, like I said, to contour and bronze and stuff. To set my under eyes, forehead, and chin, I'm going to be using the Bahi Orchard. 
They're my eyes. I'm going to be using the Bahe Orchid Setting Powder. I do have a code with them. So go ahead and use that. It's just my name, Summer. This is the Morphe in... No. 9BZ palette in this um, rainbow pointed brush. I have the links for them below. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got them a long time ago. I'm going to be mixing this shade and this shade to bronze my face. Because I don't set my eyelids with translucent powder anymore, it starts to crease sometimes before I get to doing my eyeshadow. So I'm taking this Morphe M517 and just buffing it out, just um, getting rid of the creases. And because my face is looking kind of powdery, I'm going to be taking the Mario Badescu Rose Water. I'm going to take the powder away. I've never used this as a makeup refresher, but a lot of gurus do, so... Oh, and I really like that. Whoa. Um, that really got my face together. For highlight today, I'm going to be using the Master Chrome Highlight from Maybelline. This is the shade Molten Rose Gold, or just the rose gold one. This has been my, like, literal favorite highlight lately. Oh, my gosh. But I dropped it, and it broke, but it hasn't, like, broke or shattered just off of the template. I'm so sad. I'm taking a Delium Tools 945 brush. The place I like to highlight are my cheekbones, of course, my nose, and my cupid's bow, as well as my brow bone and tear ducts when I'm done with my eye makeup. For eyes today, I'm using the Morphe 35R palette. I've never used this palette before, but I'm just going to play around and see what I can come up with because it has a bunch of beautiful shades in here. This half of the palette is shimmer and this half is all matte so it's very versatile with your style choice and your eye selection. With the Morphe M503 I'm going to be taking this shade right here. For the next shade I'm going to be going in with this one right here. It is this middle-ish shade. Everything's in the middle, I guess. I'm taking the same brush, by the way, too. I'm working her right in that same spot. I'm going to be taking this top far right last shade and putting it all over my lid. Placing it only in the center part of the eye. So far, I really like this palette. I'm going to be taking this deeper chocolate and going on the outsides of the eye. Now I took that middle shade, I'm going to go back in with a little bit more and refresh the lid. And then afterwards, I'm going to take the shade right next to the lightest shade in here and go directly on the middle. I'm going to be taking the Morphe um, gel liner in the color Slate and I'm going to be giving myself a wing. I check on wing. Okay, now that I have my wing done, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Perversion Liner and lining the bottom of my eye. Oh, Sterling. Yes. For lashes, I'm gonna be taking the Amore lashes by Coco Lashes, and these are O M G. While those are drying, I'm gonna apply. Oh my God, my head hurts. I'm gonna apply some mascara because I like to apply my mascara before my lashes because I don't like to add mascara onto my lashes that um, takes out the wears of them because you have mascara all over them. So I'm taking this Makeup Forever Smoky Stretch. So I'm going back in my palette because I feel like I want to add um, a smokier waterline and I want to add some more chocolateness to the eyes. So I'm going to go in with a few shades darker and just touch up where I want to add more color. I'm going to go ahead and apply these bomb lashes. Oh! Oh! What did I tell you? For this today, I'm only going to be using the Queen Cosmetics Itza Lip Gloss. And I have a code for them as well. Like I said, all my coupon codes are in the down down below. Um, pause. I actually want to add a darker color because this one's a little opaque for me. I mean, translucent. In the Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss and just going over. Okay, that's all for the makeup part of this video. I'm going to be doing my hair too because... 
Duh. So Foxy Bay sent me their flat iron as well. And I'm so happy because I've heard so many good reviews on their flat iron. Um, baby. It is the truth. So it comes with the flat iron. The box that it always comes in like the past video. And it also comes with the velvet travel case. And then two hair clips for your convenience. Just like the curling wand, it says off even when it's plugged in. Just so you can know that it's off. But it has a lock and unlock so you can um, close it and then lock it. So you know you can protect yourself or make it easier for putting away purposes. I go ahead and unlock it and set it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Just to straighten my hair and get it super sleek straight. So what I'm going to be putting on my hair is just some, you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy hair um, heat protector. And it's just from Sally's. And I love it so much. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. And this is what it looks like. It's the Intercellar Fantasia Hair Polisher Heat Protector Straightening Spray. So I'm just going to be spraying it throughout my hair and using my fingers and running it through. I love this um, flat iron because it does get super hot just like the curling irons and very quickly it goes up to 450 degrees I believe so and I'm just going to be taking pieces with my straightener and then chasing it with a rat tail comb. And look at that. Bam! I'm just going to keep picking up pieces and doing the same thing. And because my hair is already straight, I just don't need to take it in small pieces. I'm just going to be taking pieces I see that really need to be straightened out. And then I'm going to take it all together. Even with big pieces, it still straightens so well. See the difference between straight and then the bump over here? Mm-hmm. As you can tell, this side has been straightened, and this side over here is still kind of bumpy. My hair feels so soft. It's not. It doesn't even feel like it's brittle from being flat ironed. It feels so soft still. I remember I was rushing to go to a party, and my hair had little bumps in it um, from sleeping in the ponytail holder, and I had to be gone in like 15 minutes, and I did it in like 10. So now instead of using my comb to chase it i'm gonna be taking my brush to chase over it like as a whole and get and all i gotta do is take off my little head wrap from holding my edges down Let's see. and to lay my edges a little bit more i'm gonna be using the cream of nature 24 hour edge tamer for natural hair Okay, so that's all for the hair. I'm going to go put on some jewelry and accessories and get cute. I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> hey guys, so thank you so much for tuning in and watching this really um, grungy, smoky hair. You know, I mean, I look and then the hair, it's all sleek and whatever. <laughs> so I have nowhere to go. But to Instagram, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more Get Ready With Me, um, videos where I do my eyes, my face, everything plus hair, then you might as well like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I am so happy that you came back. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.